What's up, everyone? I'm back with some more Paladin Ladder. And I forgot to mention in my last video, but I'm going to be working on DSing my audio quality. Or my, my audio. Because I noticed in a lot of my videos that um, my S's were very sharp. Like, it hurt. Like, it, it would pierce the ears in some sections, and I really hated that. And I managed to find in my audio program, none of these cards are good. And Druid is interesting, but uh, I'll get to this game afterwards, after my little spiel. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got nothing good in here. Oh my god, this is a terrible opening hand. Anyways, back to what I was saying about audio. My S is hurt. The ears. Zombie chow. Jesus. One thing about fighting druids is they can absolutely out-control a paladin if they have the right cards, but the same goes the other way. Like, wild growth is terrifying for a control matchup. And he's just going to keep trading into my hero powers with this zombie chow, which is really going to suck. Because I didn't get a shielded mini bot early. Yeah. Muster for battle, it's something. It, it, that's all I have. And usually they use a swipe on a muster for battle. I think it's kind of silly to use it for a must, on just a muster for battle, but... It is scary having the quartermaster come out. Like, is he going to trade into one? He is. So he was absolutely scared of the Quartermaster, and rightfully so, because I actually have one. I have to decide if I still want to do it. And I think it's actually pretty good. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. And I am going to attack this. Now, that could go bad for me, but... Even if it does go bad for me, at worst, I took one more damage to my face. Ancient of Lore. Very nice. Card draw, 5-5. Five, five. It's pretty insane. And yeah, technically, I shouldn't have hit it with my face, but it's fine. Um, I think I'm going to Sludge Belcher here and attack the Hound with my face. Yeah. Again, at worst, it's just two more damage on my face that I didn't need to take. But he may also trade in with the Hound, which is kind of what I wanted. Yeah. Good. So, I did get the intended result with that, thankfully. Ooh, I would love a Consecration here. Didn't get the Consecration I wanted. So I am going to just have to Shredder and Acolyte of Pain, and I'm going to save my weapon just in case. But, uh, the Druids are really interesting because they are so controlly. Just in their nature, they are mostly control. All of their cards are focused on it, and they don't have really good hard removal. Poison Seed sucks. It is hard removal, but it sucks. What is he doing? Don't combo me. Alright, he's gonna deny me the card draw. That's totally fine with me. I was kinda hoping there would be a Doomsayer in one of those, because it would have been hilarious. And this is whenever someone is healed. Yeah, one damage to a random enemy. That's fine. I am gonna be able to trade into his Ancient of Lore, thankfully. It's a really tough choice, Lore or the, um, Shade of Noxramus, because the Shade is going to keep- ooh. Hello. That's really nice. That is exactly what I wanted and or needed in my life. You got a good board clear with that. I love that. I was thinking of a Keldazad trade. 
which would have sucked because so much would have still been on the board and I would have been definitely dead to a combo. But that ended up being exactly what I needed and he has, uh... Oh, Harrison, I'm not super concerned about that. I thought he was gonna do, um... The combo innervate Savage Roar. So Force of Nature, Savage Roar. Uh, innervate, Savage Roar. Which would have had me dead. Uh, choice here is Tyrion, or Healbot and, um, Aldor. I'm thinking Tyrion is gonna be just a better choice. Because, it, okay, he has something to get around it. Yep. It's still a 6-6, six, six, so it's not that bad. It really isn't. Ooh, what's this innervate doing? Lothab. Alright. Oh, and he is gonna trade into it. That's extremely surprising. If he didn't trade into that, I may have been able to do something Keltazadi even... Well, probably not because it didn't have enough attack. But I think this time I am gonna do the Eldor on the Lothab. The anti-killbot and the shielded mini-bot. Uh, this, the combo would do 14 plus 4 plus 3, which is 21, so I am still alive. An Azure Drake. Mm. Still isn't that bad for me because I have KT. Oh, well, that kind of sucks for me. He's gonna draw a card and hero power it. Oh, or not. This is where I start to be concerned for my life. I have. Let's see. If he does the combo, that's 14 plus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 23 plus another. Eight. I cannot heal out of uh, the lethal range. Let's see, 14 plus 5, 6, 7, 21 plus 6. I, okay. So what I'm going to do here is going to look a little bit funky. But I am going to trade into that. Because even if I killed the Keeper of the Grove, I would be dead to the combo. So I just have to hope here that he doesn't have it. Lay on hands, I would have still been dead to the combo. Unless I did my math wrong, which I don't think I did. 7, 8, plus 6, 14, plus... Yeah, I'm totally dead. Yeah, that's a GG. Savage Roar? Yeah. Well played. That was a good one. That one definitely had some thought behind it. Oh no, I'm about to fall back into rank 9. Let's hope that doesn't happen. In the next game. Uh... Come... Kamakomf. Alright. Me versus a mage. Kamakomf. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Even backwards, it doesn't make sense. It's like. Ba. Hip I don't know. I'm just being silly. And it's Golden Mage. Nice. I'm trying to get Golden Paladin. I'm like. A sixth of the way there. I am a sixth of the way there. Okay. And if this is like every other mage I've seen, it's gonna be the pretty standard Alex Straza freeze mage sort of thing. At least I think that if they're still calling it freeze mage, then I wouldn't be surprised. Freeze mage has been around forever. 
But that's been pretty much what I've been seeing besides the mech mage. And he doesn't look to be a mech mage. So I think I am probably gonna play this Pyromancer. Just to give him some issue. I usually keep it for the equality trick with Pyromancer to kill the entire board, but... I may not need it with this mage. He used a frost bolt on it. I highly disagree with that if he's a free ma freeze mage. Because that gets rid of part of his burst. The ice lance, ice lance, frost bolt, or the uh, frost bolt, ice lance, ice lance. Sorry. Oh, he's a mech mage. Was not expecting that. Was certainly not expecting that. Okay. I'm gonna coin out the Sludge Belcher. My other choices kinda suck. So that's what we're gonna do. Yep. I think that's a good play, especially because I can actually follow it up on turn 5 with another Sludge Belcher or an Aldor and a Minibot or something. Or a Muster and a Minibot, something like that. I think it was a good choice. He just drew a card. Uh, Ooh. Does that really help me? I'm gonna say no. That does not really help me. But I am going to trade into the Mech Warper. And... I think I want to play another Sludge Belcher. He already used the coin, so he can't Flame Strike. Yeah. Is that a fireball? No, oh, that's a frost bolt. Interestingly enough, that's both of his frost bolts down. I do not have to worry about any more frost bolts in this life. Krogmaster. This is actually going to go surprisingly well for me. Yeah. What are you doing, bud? If he doesn't hit it, I'm gonna hit it. Um, it sucks that my Acolyte's only gonna draw one card, but hey, it's one card, right? And it sucks that I'm gonna trade my Belcher in, but it gets rid of the board. Alright. We're gonna Consecrate, get rid of all of that. And I was gonna Minibot, but I think an Ooze is gonna be better here. And that's his board dealt with. I love Paladin because they can deal with the board. A Noyotron. And a Blast Mage. Don't kill anything. Oh, you killed everything! That was the exact opposite of what I told you to do. Luster for battle, shielded minibot. And I'm gonna break the damn Divine Shield. This is where a flame strike could come in. I'm not super concerned about a flame strike. I'm not in the slightest actually concerned about a flame strike. Nope, another blast mage. Jeez. That one only killed two things. Two pretty unimportant things, too. This may be where my peacekeeper comes in on the five fours. Just because they're really annoying. And I'm not really concerned about uh, this 1-2 weapon, so I'm just going to get rid of it like that. Yeah, I have three other weapons in my deck, technically, with Tyrion and my two True Silvers. There's his Dr. Boom. It's pretty nice, but the only reason I did the uh, 
Aldar Peacekeeper on the 5-4 is because I had another in my hand. If I didn't have that backup for something like Dr. Boom, absolutely would not have. We're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna trade into this. Do this. And then we're gonna do the change attack because I didn't want this to get hit by it. I was fine with the other thing getting hit by it. And that's both of my Eldor Peacekeepers. I can't imagine anything besides maybe Antonidas or Toshly that I would want to do that to. Um. Okay. I was not expecting Toshly. Um, at all. Do I equality Toshly? No. I'm gonna hit him with my face. Nice. And I have my own legendaries. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's probably gonna get ping fireballed, but I'm totally okay with that. Absolutely okay with my Tyrion being ping fireballed. Okay, maybe not if it's with Antonidas. Okay, so that's one fireball for him. He has at least one in his hand. That's why Toshi's in his deck. I should have I should have realized that. I should have silenced maybe silenced him. I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, no. Alright, two fireballs in his hand at the very least. Okay. This is where interesting things happen. This is absolutely where interesting things happen. By interesting, I mean not very interesting. I was considering a silence on my own Tyrion play, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to equality. Get rid of this freaking Antonidas. Screw that guy. Get rid of his Dr. Boom because why not? And because I know he has two two fireballs in his hand, that's at least 12 damage of burst. I'm going to lay on hands. And hope that I see an anti-kill bot because he could Alexstrasza me and that would put me way too low. And he's absolutely going to have to ping my Tyrion. See if he has Harrison. He does not have Harrison. Alright, this is where another silence is going to come in. Well, I think my first silence, actually. Kill that, and then say, That hurt. Please don't do that again. And I'm back up to 27. And I still have one more anti-kill bot in my deck. That is why I love this deck. It survives everything. Except for like an Alexstrasza right now. That would be terrifying. Please don't do that. Alright. What is my chance of lethal? Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. I do not have lethal. And he froze my minion anyways. I am going to use my Consecration here to help with trading. See what comes out of this first, because it could be a Doomsayer. It's not a Doomsayer. It's greedy to hit his face. Because that Trog could technically help him kill me. But I'm trying to get him scared of dying. I'm trying to see if he has Ice Block in his hand. If he's if his deck even runs ice block, because I'm not sure that it does. He had to use one of his four fiber balls in his deck. On that, he may have to use a second one on that. Yes, so he has two fiber balls left in his deck. The two that I'm counting are from Antonidas, and two that every mage runs in their deck, and I win. 
Awesome. My star, it's back. I love that star. Alright, I'm Nagark. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the next video so you can see how the rest of my ladder goes. And thank you for watching. Hey, thanks for watching my video. You should click one of the videos on the screen to see their playlist. There's literally hours of entertainment in each of them. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified of everything I create in the future, and you'll be the first to see it.